Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University. In this video, I'm going to talk about sulfide nomenclature. And I've got the generic form of a sulfide uh, functional group up here. And it's worth noting that sulfides can also be called thioethers. They are the sulfur analog of ethers. And so this word thioether uh, says that this is like an ether, except with a thio or a sulfur uh, atom replacing the oxygen, which means uh, that we're ultimately going to name uh, sulfides or thioethers ethers, similarly to ethers. So just like uh, with simple ether molecules, we can name them in terms of uh, what hydrocarbon groups are on either side. So this is diethyl ether. And if they are not symmetric, if they have two different hydrocarbon groups, then we can name that. Also, usually putting them in alphabetical order. order. So this is methylphenol ether. Yeah, and Methylphenol ether has another common name, anisole, but at least according to this nomenclature, uh, this is how we do it. And if we change the oxygen to a sulfur, all we would do is change uh, from diethyl ether to diethyl sulfide, or diethyl sulfide, and to change uh, in methylphenol ether from oxygen to sulfur we now have methyl phenyl sulfide. And, and so this is one way, it's the way a lot of people are going to use, it mirrors the, the simple or common nomenclature system of ethers, but it's not necessarily the correct IUPAC system Just like ethers, an IUPAC system, sulfides are uh, substituents. So if we take all four of these compounds, ethers and sulfides, and, and rename them according to the IUPAC system, diethyl ether becomes ethoxyethane. That ethoxy, this ether part of it becomes the ethoxy substituent. Part of the methylphenol ether becomes methoxy benzene. The, the smaller side becomes the methoxy substituent. The substituent name in ether or in, in thioethers or sulfides is the alkyl thio substituent. So in terms of diethyl sulfide, we would have not diethyl sulfide, but ethyl thioethane. And in terms of methyl phenyl sulfide, we would have methyl thiobenzene. And so the nomenclature is very, very uh, straightforwardly simple. Uh, and comparable to the what we do with ethers. Uh, and so we'll just do two more here before end uh, and give you a chance to practice. So why don't you draw the structure of ethyl thiocyclobutane. And you can go ahead and pause the video here and I'll resume in three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and draw the structure of ethyl thio uh, cyclobutane. So the first thing we need is cyclobutane. So let's draw cyclobutane. And then we have this ethyl thio substituent. And so ethyl thio is connected by the sulfur. This is a sulfide. And then we have an ethyl group attached to that sulfur atom. 
Let's do one more example. And again, this is a, a chance for you. You can pause the video and uh, try to work this uh, out on your, your own. So we're going to provide the IUPAC name for the following compound. Here it is. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to work this out on your own. Uh, I'll resume and provide the answer in three, two, one. When providing the IUPAC name for a sulfide, we want to look just like we always do for the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. And so we're going to look for the, the side of the sulfide that has the most carbon atoms in it. And this side over here has four in a continuous chain. And on the right-hand side, I only have two. So we're going to have this uh, isopropyl thio substituent. Because it's an isopropyl group. And then I'm going to have this substituted butane parent chain. And then I have another methyl substituent. Now, in terms of what we're going to do uh, with this, uh, can I get, there we go, methyl substituent. We need to number our chain so that we have the lowest possible combination of locant values, and that would have the thio group at the, the number one position. So this is going to be the carbon one here. And then the methyl group will be at carbon three. And then we arrange the, the substituents alphabetically uh, with isopropyl thio being uh, alphabetically before methyl, I before M, 3-methyl. Right, so this compound is going to be named 1-isopropyl thio-3-methyl butane. This wraps up our discussion on the uh, nomenclature of sulfides. Thank you for watching.